ஹலோ சார் திஸ் இஸ் சுதாகர் வெங்கடாச்சலம் ரோல் நம்பர் இ டூ ஒன் பி ஜீரோ ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஐ எம் ஹியர் ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் மை டீம் டு இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் யூ டு அவர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் அவர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் வாஸ் ஆன் ஆக்டிவ் நாய்ஸ் கேன்சலேஷன் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் வாட் இஸ் நாய்ஸ் நாய்ஸ் இஸ் அன் அன்வான்டட் சவுண்ட் தட் இஸ் அன்பிளசன்ட் லவுட் ஆர் டிஸ்ரப்டட் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் நாய்ஸ் இன்க்ளூட் பஸ் கேக்கோஃபோனி கமோஷன் கிராஷ் கிரை எக்ஸ்ப்ளோஷன் ரோர் ஆர் டர்பிலன்ஸ் so what is the solution for noise how do we escape from all this noise the answer is noise cancellation now why noise cancellation excessive noise exposure can induce hearing impairment psychological effects such as annoyance stress related health effects such as cardiovascular disorders sleep disturbance and decreased uh, school performance so uh, what are the types of noise cancellations that we have one of them is passive noise cancellation So passive noise cancellation uses well designed ear cups to seal out unwanted noise. This is used over both over ear headphones and in ear earphones where the earbud itself will keep the surrounding noise out. So keep in mind that this doesn't cancel all of the noise but it does cancel out some the noise up to some extent. What if we want to cancel out all the noise? That's where active noise cancellation or ANC comes into picture. Now what is the fuss around ANC? ANC or active noise cancellation uses microphones and speakers to reduce background and surrounding noise. This is the most known type and has mostly been used in over ear headphones. Technology has become so small and battery efficient now that it can be used in truly wireless in ear earphones also. So there are many types of active noise cancellation techniques. A uh, few of them I'll be stating here. One of them is feed forward active noise cancellation. here the mic is outside the ear cup and hears the outside noise before you can it then processes the intrusive noise to create the anti noise waves to cancel or neutralize the former so you can enjoy the sound if the headphones or the earphones are not placed properly it can amplify the noise outside also another type is called feedback noise cancellation in this type of cancellation the mic is inside the ear cup and in front of the speaker so it gets to hear the resulting signal in the same way that the listener does and if the headphones or earphones are worn incorrectly it does not drastically affect the sound cancelling there's one more which is known as hybrid noise cancellation now this is a combination of feed forward and feedback noise cancellation as you can see there are two mics over here one this is the feed forward microphone and this is the feedback microphone uh, so basically uh, this includes both that is one mic will be outside our ear cups also and one will be inside also so inside one will be used for feedback and the outside one will hear the noise before we do that is hybrid noise cancellation technique uh now for this project we use simulink simulink is a powerful simulation and modeling tool it allows the users to design and implement complex real time algorithms for anc systems ensuring optimal noise reduction performance with simulink we can seamlessly integrate anc algorithms into various applications and achieve superior audio quality by effectively eliminating unwanted background noise simulink also helps us to simulate the system before we actually implement it on hardware so this is a plus point that's why we decided to uh, go with simulink and implement everything on simulink now i would like to uh hand over the presentation to my friend purna chandra who will explain you about the model that we implemented in simulink and how how we went about implementing the same as sudhakar explained the three types of active noise cancelling we are going to use the third one hybrid mode in this we will be having two microphones one is outer outside the ear cup and other one is inside the ear cup the inner one is used as a feedback and the outer one is for uh, measuring the noise to make the anti noise signal uh as you can see on the screen this is the model we created together uh this is the noise file uh it, this is the noise file or you can say that this is the outer mic this is the song mp3 or the actual clean data which is coming 
to the headphones through wires or Bluetooth. And this gain is due to the passive noise cancellation. That is the foam and the parts which cover your ears. So what we are doing is we made a subsystem called anti-noise generator. We are taking noise and the song as an input that is here. This is noise and song. And since we need to generate anti-noise, we need to invert the existing noise. So we uh, digitalize it, that is we apply FFT, then convolve it with minus one to get the inverted version. And this is the song, the actual song. We're again digitalizing it. And we need to add this inverted noise with the digitalized song. But the catch here is passive gain is not always constant. In this example, passive gain is 0.7. But in some other example, passive gain can be something else. So for that, we cr created a uh, feedback loop that changes or accordingly updates the active gain. So what we are doing in active gain is we are taking a feedback from the output that is here. We're taking that and we are uh, finding the RMS of it and comparing with the RMS of the actual song. Then we obtain some error. And then we are uh, comparing it with some set point that is for us 0 0.0001. And we are using an if statement that if error we got is less than, is greater than the required error, then we just add 0 0.05 to the active gain. This increases the gain here. And we are just multiplying this active gain with the inverted noise and then adding it with the digitalized song. And then again, we uh, inverse Fourier transform of that and we take only the real part because uh, real part is only the thing which we require and which really exists. This is the code which we used in this block. Features of this model. The complete system is meant to be implemented using minimum digital processor and electronic components. We didn't want to complicate stuff. We just assumed things like we are not going to take any secondary path or the distance between the mic and the speaker is very less that it's in the same point. And despite passive noise attenuation via foam ear speaker isolation, the system automatically adjusts its noise cancellation gain. This was done via feedback loop. So for example, if I keep my passive gain noise, uh, passive gain as 0.8, then my feedback runs till my active gain becomes 0.8. Now, the errors and the limitations of our model. The simulation model breaks when the output is very close to the desired output. Because MATLAB's ODE and DA is all algebraic loops using prediction algorithms and iteration, which break for very small error values. Here, the error we are comparing it was 0 0.001. So if error is anywhere near this, our algebraic loop, that is this small feedback loop, breaks off. That is one error we are getting. And we also add the delay block in the feedback loop because 
to avoid a straight feed, we are using this to avoid a straight feed through loop. And one more thing is due to the nature of logic return for changing gain, that is, if we change this uh, passive gain, then we need to re restart this whole program again for it to work. It doesn't dynamically change. This is the output. We are seeing the change of active gain with time. We set the passive gain as 0.7. So as you can see, our active gain is increasing. It increases till 0.7. And then the error becomes so less that we get an error. This now. Let us see the spectrum of the denoised and input signal. Sorry. This is this is the actual audio and this is the denoised signal. As you can see, this is very flat at the start because our active gain is small. And as time increases, our active gain becomes more and more accurate and the error decreases. So it becomes more similar. See, at the edge, there are more spikes in both. It's almost similar. Let us listen to our noise signal. This is our noise signal. Uh, it is a bunch of cars in traffic. And this is our anti-noise signal, which is superimposed on the audio signal. As you can see, there is some disturbance uh, when you listen to this. That is because of the superimposition of the anti-noise signal. That is the inverse of this noise signal. Now, let us listen to our actual clean audio signal, which comes to the headphones through wire or Bluetooth. You can hear that there is no noise and it's completely clear. Now, let us listen to the output or the denoised audio signal, which are or which we hear. As you can see, at the start, there was noise, but as gradually time increased, the noise reduced. And at the last few seconds, there was no noise. You can even compare these uh, graphs or plots. At the start, there is some mismatch, like, excuse me, there is some mismatch here. That is because of different. Uh, passive gain and active gain, but as time increases, it starts following the audio, clean audio, and the denoised audio starts following each other. Thank you for watching.